Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. In this episode, we're going to be unboxing the Legends series Avengers Ant-Man Helmet. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of the Collector's Review. I'm finally getting to unboxing the Ant-Man helmet. I wanted to get this signed by Paul Rudd when I was at the C2E2, but I didn't get this delivered in enough time, so I'll be doing it next time. So let's get to this one. I'm showing the Avengers Ant-Man unboxing the Legends series. I just unboxed the, uh, what was it, the Poe... The Poe uh, Star Wars Black Series helmet that came out not too long ago. So I was finally getting to this one. I already did the, the Punisher Iron Man helmet, War Machine helmet. If you guys didn't catch that video, make sure you guys peep out that video. I want to get to this one. Before I get to this one, you know the Collection Dimension brings you everything from comics, action figures, statue unboxings, everything that has to do with collectibles. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button at the bottom for your boy i'm trying to get to four thousand subscribers so let's go to this unboxing of this bad boy and take you guys up close to this one and looks beautiful i love how it looks man i've seen some of the other ones online and they look real cheesy but this one actually is real dope man i, I missed it the first time it came out and then they did a reissue so i got my hands on it finally wanted to get the uh signature of paul rudd on it man i think that's gonna be dope i'm definitely gonna still do that this piece actually is magnetized and goes in the back clips in the back pretty good like that so all around and these came detached on the side so then you just pop those in so all around man this uh figure did this did this one love the look of it let me see if this is what you saw this is how you you see the lights and here let me move the light real quick for you guys boom so you got the red light here the red light here and the red light there i thought they could have done a little bit more with it and then you push it and then it has the blue light so I thought they could have done a little bit more with the uh, electronics on it uh, for mine this is what it does I don't know if there's a speaker or anything maybe mine doesn't work but it does not make any sound it just does that it just lights up those pieces right there so that's not bad uh, that, that I like how it lights it up I just felt it could have been a little bit more um, the eyes looking trying to look inside look in the eyes with the helmet on is very hard itself uh it doesn't look as bad as the like the punisher war machine one that one was real hard to uh look through the the eye holes because it, it was just especially with the light on very hard to see so let me take you up close real quick but i, I did like that one but there was just a the uh, Punisher War Machine one, but there's just a couple things that I didn't like that I felt kind of like was false advertisement. Make sure you guys check out that video at the end to see what I'm talking about. But this one, yeah, this this is dope. I love the detail in it. And it looks like the movie one. Like I said, I like that little red thing, but I think that could have been a little bit more than just three red lights on each side. But all around a little dope helmet, man. When I put it on, it really fit well. Now the uh, Poe one, the Poe Black Series one that I did, it it that that one ran tight. The War Machine Punisher one, that one was nice. But this one, yeah, I really do like this one. Like I said, the detail and the different things. I thought for a second, because those look like speakers, so I thought that was going to be a talking piece, but turned out not. But this would be definitely dope to, uh, I got two of them, so I'm thinking about making one that's a, that's a uh, battle damaged one. So that's the top of the head. Let me show you the inside of it real quick. Lift it up real quick and turn it on the side. So you have the flap in the back, so that's for you, so you can uh, take it on and off easily. This is the inside. See, and it looks like it had like that right there. Thought that was a speaker at first, but it turned out. Let's see if you can. So 
that's how it looks when you try looking through it. Can you see? You can still see through it okay though, like I said. Pretty good for cosplay. So pretty dope helmet all around, man. If you guys are looking at picking it up, make sure you do. Before it goes back up, I don't even know how much it is right now. But until next time, like always, like, share, and subscribe. This is the Collector's Review with unboxing the Ant-Man helmet. Till next time, we out. Peace.